what it takes to be a ceo hello friends today we will be reviewing the ceo next door this book is written by two authors uh elena and uh, kim so these these authors works for an agency which places ceos they did a survey of the ceos to find out what it takes to make somebody a ceo so we will go over what are the three myths of ceos what are the three qualities to become a ceo and how ceos became ceos that's very interesting topic too what are the three big myths about ceos first that ceos are born the the authors of this book they did survey and they found out 70% of the ceos have no idea they are going to become ceo in their life they just were executives who got promoted to high positions and they became more interested more motivated to go to the top job second myth is you have to go ivy class college to get the job again these people found out these authors found out 7% of ceos had no degree at all and 70% of ceos have very diverse background different background the third myth is you have to be charismatic and magnetic like steve jobs or elon musk the authors found out this is a hollywood myth where they show a dynamic ceo giving a fiery speech and moving the company in reality most of the ceos they move things in the board by by driving good results most of lot of ceos are introverts and they get the job done by giving results so we discussed what are the three myths of the ceos next what are the three qualities of the ceos the first big quality of ceo is decisiveness they decide because if they don't decide early the company could be losing millions and millions of dollars so they decide they take input of all all the members all the advisors everybody around them but they make the decision they evaluate their decision they uh, they they see how their decision look look in the future and they learn from their experience second quality these these uh, second quality these ceos had they were able to move things in the board they were dependent on other people and they were able to use their connection to the people to move the things and this is very interesting how they built connection with the board members or the stakeholders or other their colleagues was by driving results the a survey was done the the people the ceos who were very people friendly turned out to be low performers because they were too much worried of offending the people so you have to have a right mix of so you have to have a right mix of the people people skills and delivering the results the third big quality of these ceos were they were consistent they delivered results consistent consistently consistency was a big so the three big pro, three big three big qualities of ceos is decisiveness moving the moving the people along and third is delivering consistently the author showed a very nice growth of these ceos these ceos they became journalist at some point of time they were wearing multiple caps and then they 
figure found out something where they could deliver the result. The big thing is you deliver the results and make these results visible to the right people. That is the key thing. A lot of these people, a lot of people who were moved to CEOs, they got they got into a situation. They either they got into a big mess where they cleaned up the mess and became visible. And then then the authors also give. So how how do you can become the CEO? You have to pick up the right boss who invest in into you, give you the feedback. You build the relationships. You build the relationship people around the boss. They may not be your direct supervisor, but they tell you the opportunities. You build a network. A lot of time the CEOs are hired not because of they are CEOs. They are hired for their network. They CEO, you, when you hire a CEO, you don't hire just one person. You hire his network. Then uh, that's very interesting also in during interview process. The people, if you have a heavy accent, that is a big, big drawback. If you are using a lot of buzzword without giving a stories, how you delivered specific results, that is a drawback. If you are using a vocabulary to show off your intellectual power, that is a negative point. So I found this book, book is interesting. Uh, it's an interesting book. Good. There, there are certain certain thing I learned. Uh, there, there were some good points. Communication of the CEOs is must. Uh, CEOs need to work on communication. Communication. They need to have excellent communication. Uh, there is no compromise on the communication. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates. Thank you very much.